Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 66 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. In the last episode, we bolstered our production chains with all new items from the High Life DLC, improving our chemical plants and our orchards, creating the vast quantities of goods needed to build and sustain even more skyscrapers. Today, we're going all in on building, gathering as much construction material as we can, and starting the production on the Skyline Tower. In fact, at the end of the last episode, we had just delivered all the materials that we kind of need to get the job done. So let's just jump straight on into it. So currently, we have 19 investor skyscrapers at Tier 5, and we need six more to begin construction of the Skyline Tower. So let's go. My guru, city's really grown. Lots of rich people, lots of very wealthy people. But I was here first. I'm the original, the biggest whale. I think they need a reminder. D He's contemplating how to hey, change cool, that, that he feels unseen. Skyline we shaped. What's missing? A skyline. massive tower to shame the rest. The suckers will call it hubris. <laughs> and we'll be spitting on their heads from the top. Gotta say, our skyline does not look too good. <laughs> it's just a massive tower block. Uh, now, really quickly, gonna hop over to the Arctic, completely Your suck the momentum <laughs> out of all of that. Oh, this ship is... Oh, actually, this isn't gonna do it. We need... Totally forgot. So one of our, um, what's it called? Uh, what can I think? Glaciers is out of construction material. This one in particular, and there's one of the gas pipelines broken. Uh, so I have to deliver some wood over to it, but I'm gonna have to grab one of the... Airships actually from the New World. Is it here yet? It's actually... Yes, it is. So, we, in the last episode, also got a bunch of new items to bolster the population here. So we'll just drop all of these off, access the Town Hall, and throw them all in. So this one is going to be Malching's back-to-back -back itinerary for Surf. So workforce of 50%. Boom. That's going to help us quite a bit. And then we have the Papal Paper of Prenatal Preservation. Bonus residents plus three from having coffee, steam carriages, chocolate, fried plantains. Boom. That should slowly come back up. You can see them growing actually right now. And then we have a direct one here. Happiness plus 18. Workforce 15% for the Millicent's Manifesto of the Suffragette. That's more like it. Now, of course, I have dumped this town hall here amongst the Obreros. I would actually rather get more... Uh, Yornal arrows because we are very low on the likes of camphor wax which a few people in the comments pointed out they caught the statistics screen and we're somewhere like six or seven tons short uh, with that extra workforce though we can definitely populate a few of these areas I suppose we should just do it right now while we are here Something like that. Hopefully, I think they actually have a really, really far reach to get to a, a warehouse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hopefully they'll be okay. I'm going to be cutting into their production here a little bit by going across like this, but I kind of have to, I think. Unless I pre-plan this kind of thing and just do it on my own, and then I can figure out opt more optimal placements. I'm sure I will move these a little bit eventually. So let's just check, are they all able to get back there? They are, so that's one, two, three, four extra. I think that's probably gonna be enough. Uh, sorry, I didn't tie this one to it either. 94. Oh, it's a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. That's fine. Take it with a pinch of salt. Indeed, take it with a pinch of salt. All right, let's go back. We have our 25. Oh yeah, so finally we get to see the size of this uh, High Life Monument thing. All right, it's so actually, I was kind of, excuse me again, kind of correct, it's not as big as I thought. Oh, it's the same size as a hotel, at least in width. And it's just slightly bigger. It'd be nice to have it somewhere in the center here. Actually, this would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, that works right there. I mean, this, again, like I said, at some point there will be a nice big beauty build, a lovely overhaul. It's on its way, I'm formulating a plan. But I think, to quote a great scholar, for now, we'll probably just leave it and place it here. Maybe move that members club down. In fact, let's get rid of these houses. I have 72 influence. Now I've got 60, so I destroyed 12 influence. Let's just drag and drop this over here. 
And let's say, see you later to this area. And to have it on theme, as I'm sure this takes quite a while to build, we can make this a little bit of a building site. Let's just do that for now. Let's go to the workers. Actually, let's drop in a little warehouse right there. Fits perfect. And we'll make this their custom warehouse they can bring things to and from. fine by me. Alright, let's do it. Got him. A heck of a view. Don't make me wait. Really, I hate waiting. The faster you build, the bigger the payoff for you. Oh, it's got one of these little things built into it, actually. Alright, so this presumably is going to be taller than the level 5s. God, that's going to be fucking massive, isn't it? Sorry, sorry for swearing. Um, so, all right, build the Skyline Tower in sorts. So let's have a little read here. The success of the Galerie Baderet shopping arcade has set a precedent for the future of consumerism, a founding myth for our new for a new era. Its daring promise of endless growth exemplified by rising sales and towering skyscrapers to ensure his place in history, Donald Bader dreams of a unique monument, the gigantic Skyline Tower, and he has entrusted you with making it a reality. Now, I just remembered something over in the New World. I don't think I actually connected this yet to, a ro to the uh, original road network, so that's my bad. Alright, well, that's hooked up now, at least, so these should start working. And then the other thing was actually gathering that wood and bringing it to the Arctic. Steindelspreen, which was named by one of our viewers a while back. Holy crap, look at the workforce we got now. Wow. We have to thank you for it. 26 potential residents out of a usual 25. What does this do? Bonus income and residence and happy happiness. Cool. All right, all right, all right. And then what about regular houses? We just what are we here. squeezing out of them? 13. So three more than normal. 30%. I feel it reflects the time. I feel it reflects the times it better. Oh, or it's your head on a... Timing, uh, as always. The city becomes uglier. Crown Farms has when let itself go. Height of the skyline tower, we must assume that any hazards will be of proportional magnitude. A risk assessment is vital in helping us react should anything happen. Theodora advises you that the proper risk assessment is needed. Risk assessment? No, Miss Jenny! Why go out of your mind looking for problems when there are none? That seems kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, even as... to scare us. Yeah, I mean, he is scaring us. Even as crazy as Donnie is, it seems a bit mad that he's like, yeah, I don't care about the safety. I I guess maybe some people are like that. Uh, so, what do we need? We need 40 investor skyscrapers to actually begin the phase of building. Oh my days. All right, well, let's just spam upload. Upload? <laughs> Level up these buildings. I don't know how many that is. 39 out of 40, we can do one more. And then we have to check our... In meetings with Avonair, I like to gaze out of the window. Contingencies of the war. Spot. Hang on. That music is just so overbearingly loud. Can't have that. Obscuring my view. Detergent. Detergent? Would that be the drugstore? Yep. A synthetic surfactant. This all-rounder is the cleansing agent, removing... To remove blemishes, big or small, whether you're mop, scrub, or wash, it'll smell citrusy fresh. And take your skin off if you're not careful. Ethanol, citrus, saltpeter. Reduces gramophone consumption and steam carriages. My work Listen. is the love of my life. Oh, something I wrote down that I'm supposed to be doing as well. Um, can we begin this actually now? Another is weird note. This 
last one landed on my desk. Someone's gonna answer for that. Care Beware. to see what trash they came up with this time? Quote, your majesty looked and therefore you stood a, stood a large statue. The head of the statue was made of pure gold. Its chest and arms of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, and its feet of baked clay. Come, Mr. Bader, note the most note the popular feeling against your abominable abominable construction practices and make a change. Well, this is getting to be darn annoying. Keep an eye on my tower, will ya? I'll keep an eye on it. Is someone gonna sabotage the building, like collapse it or something? Or try to stop it getting built? Uh, so do we have what we need to begin? Absolutely, let's go. So how long is that gonna take? 30 minutes, apparently. Just for this phase. All right, well, we've got the three little carts coming from our little thing here. Members club has been shifted for now, just keeping people happy. I have to decide where that's going to go in future. Okay, um, so the other thing I want to do was resin. Apparently we're really, really low on resin. Uh, so we have to build yet even more of these things, more orchards. I don't actually know how many more. Let's just check all materials, raw materials. We're making 20 tons. We consume 32. That's quite a lot. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, most resin is made here. Sorry, I'm confused. Where do you even see that resin? So we have six on this island, and I think... Is it this one? No, I think on this one we have like three or four? Four. So each one is two. Oh yeah, okay. I should remember that. It's the same for all orchards. Uh, so that means that we're gonna need 12, so we need six more. I need six more, god damn. Are you kidding me? I don't even have bricks here to do this. New orders. Uh, I'm going to grab as much steel as possible. I know that we're going to need this big time. About. And let's pick up the bricks. Let's come back. This is already on the trade network for delivering oh, resin, so I don't have to do too much there. But I think what I'm ultimately going to have to do is use some of the influence we have to make these orchard farms like a bit more efficient the way I did in the New World. And probably even more efficient than that, especially with a place like this where we can really... We've got a lot of open space and no rivers or anything. We can really, like, figure out a quite a strong, optimal... What's it called? Kind of a... Combination, if you will, or layout, I guess is the right term, of how we want to do that. To your stations. Alright, just drop that stuff off, build another one here. The resin coastline. Let's build a couple extra houses. I have no doubt they can handle it. Alright, so that's four, so we need at least two more. Maybe we can get them on a different island. sure I remember that these were fine for reaching. Actually, the other thing we could get rid of is things like this. Wood production. That's fine. It's just a bit of a waste. Squeeze a little bit more workforce out of these guys. Kind of like this uh, coast resin coast we have going on here. The amber coast. All right, we'll see if any of them fall short, but I don't think so. Is that six, is it? That's five. What is going on? It's going four, five, four, five, four, five, back and forth. That's weird. Hmm. Why is Seems that? Seems like part of the family. That's very strange, isn't it? I've never seen that before. It fixed itself now. All 
All right, hopefully we can handle all that. Actually, you know what we could do? We've got too many workers. Let's downgrade some. We earned this. Although I think eventually that's gonna hurt the supply. I don't know. If you go too far down. Like it might stop the consumption of soap, for instance. That's all right, we can do that and then we can get one more. Some of the workers are scared of heights. What in God's name did they expect? This yeah. stunt is wasting us money. Any ideas? Reassure the workers. Skyline Tower Vertigo. Make a decision. Look, it's not like we ain't used to the heights. We are more than most, but that means we know how dangerous it can get. One misstep can change everything. This tower, it's higher than we've ever built. And that brand logo, it's unlucky. It's spreading fear. We don't need a reminder of it plastered on the walls. All it takes is one fall. Send a bishop to reassure them. Promise to find a daredevil. Provide harnesses. 20 Kauchuk. Or ignore their concerns. Hang on. We've got we've got time on this. We can do this. We can get the Kauchuk together. Harnesses seems like the right one to go with. Yeah, easy. Deliver this up here. You let me know when you got here. Gonna pick up even more steel because we constantly need steel. Actually, I just realized we should get making more steel. We can do that. We have the technology. So to do that, we'll just queue up in a few extra furnaces. Or what are they called? Steelworks, I should say. Uh, the reason I'm choosing this area specifically is there's no power. Actually, let's just make power. We added, we increased the amount of oil previously, so why not? All right. Stand to attention. This area is so ugly. It's insane. These are temporary. <laughs> Gonna get rid of them once uh, we have enough steel. This should just vastly improve the amount of steel we're getting. 134. How many workers are these taking? 200 each. Jeez. Uh, I wonder, can I turn off anything else that's using these, using workers? The finishing touches. I think most things are using engineers or artisans, and it's all the steel furnaces that are using workers. These are using engineers. Damn. Uh, well, God, that means I can if only have two more. Out, we've a right to know the dispute. I have to leave it like that then. I'm just desperate to get some more steel. That would have been enough if I didn't downgrade those houses. Damn it! Uh, is that ship not here yet, still? Almost. So a minute 36 left to drop off this cow chuck. Boom. Alright, make a decision. Provide harnesses for all. Ah, that's great, boss. The lads and I appreciate you taking action. <laughs> what the fuck? So I'm sorry for swearing again. He's Irish? <laughs> Safety harnesses and equipment. <laughs> Well, if you feel like burning money, you can go right ahead. Seven minutes to go. Man, Vader does not like that. That's good. They're doing it faster than they said. Pretty happy. All right, nice. Good. No doubt we're going to have to upgrade even further, right? People said 75 is what you need by the end. But I'll just wait until I actually need it. Um, okay. What's next? What was I doing before? Oh, yeah, the resin. Have we fixed that? Kind of, right? We're taking every... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resin will be fixed when the next thing gets built. And this is already part of a route that deals with resin. Although I wonder, can it pick up quite so much? You know, that's quite a lot to try and pick up from here. 
Well, no, there's three ships doing it, so yeah, I'm confident they can do it. Batches of... it's basically 150 per cycle. So yeah. Actually more, because it's coming from the other place too, but I think that's okay. They take quite a while to make. Uh, I, what is it, like, was it 30 mi per minute? So it's five minutes? You gotta be making that route every five minutes if you want to deliver things. Mm, might be a bit tight then. Um, I'm not too sure what to do now. <laughs> because I think everything's in play for us to just get this built now. There's seven minutes to go. We could speed up time, I guess. Six minutes to go. They have what they need. Uh, I'm trying to think of my short of anything else. I guess I can have a look at this area, see if we can squeeze some of the workers. Let's get rid of those two areas. It's a waste of material. 108. I've already pulled as much as I can from Cape Trelawney in between episodes, because I know that it's just like the amount of skyscrapers we need to upgrade, which I'm just so short on steel beams. A little bit short on windows as well. Um, but everything seems fine. Think Ethanol of it running out, that's not good. Evidence of your character. How did you manage to Let's see what's going on with the ethanol route. Cape to the old world, ethanol. It's loaded up. 300's on the way. Needs another ship though, does it? Let's bring in two. Alright, so two ships will do that now. Yeah, it'd be good to kind of check over the factories and see, just generally, is, are we running short on anything? At least in my, like, in... In my like anything standing out in, in the in my face, I was gonna say but it doesn't quite make sense. You know anything that's just like glaringly standing out as being short. Cowchuck running out is a bit strange as well. Cowchuck always comes from this island and gets delivered into there. Shouldn't ever go anywhere else. Oh, I guess we increase the demand with chewing gum. Might have to fix that up as well. So what we could do, I'm bringing in Cowchuck through Docklands. We could send it to the New World. Because there's loads of it. There's thousands just sitting there in Docklands. I um, guess I could look for a way to do that. It'd be nice to clean that up and make it work. So if we have a look then again. C-A-O. So New World to Old World. We do send some away. That's probably why it's emptying out. There might not be a safety net, as it were. Guess I could check, see if they can just always leave a little bit behind so that the thing doesn't stop operate operating. Yeah, see there's no safety. Okay, maybe that's That's probably that'll probably sort it out because the other thing is using Docklands anyway, so it shouldn't run out. Alright, that'll fix that. Everything else seems fine though. We should the be fine. Oh, left ruins behind. Let's check Camphor Wax as well. Camphor Wax is at a potential of 32. To 35 so it is short we definitely need to squeeze a little bit more out of it we have this new population here that we can make use of again gonna be a little bit lazy and just throw it down somewhere over here all right so that's handling all of those now good well, that at least fixes everything we need for now. Because, of course, as we build more and more skyscrapers, we will run into more and more problems. Uh, looks like Mbesa had a fire. They're all right. And then we have runes out here. We just want to drop off that wood. It's just a house that's actually... You're cold. How could you be cold? There you go. <laughs> Waiting course. All right, nice. I'm um, going to send this to El Puerto. I saw that there's a lot of those orchard items are there already with Isabella Sarmento. And the last thing then is that tabarine has been getting you eaten up by Arthur. Cool. Alright, let's check how we're doing now. And if we check our building itself, everyone seems to have everything, right? Totally fine. Totally fine. Great. That's really good. We're up to 90,000 population. It seems stable enough. It's barely moving, actually. Money is down to just 4,000 gold. And that's because you make a lot more if you stagger these for the panorama effect. And when I'm obviously at the moment not doing that. But I will later on. 
a minute 40. All right, I don't think there's anything I'm glaringly missing, missing at least not right now. So I'm just going to speed up time just a little bit there. They've delivered all the goods. Now we're just waiting. So that's nice. Just a minute to go. I guess we can keep an eye on how much steel we've got and see if we can make any more deliveries. There's another delivery here. So if we were to have a look, I'm actually going to change this to just construction materials because it seems like we're fine for everything else. Bricks are fairly low. We could go and get some. There's thousands down here. So yeah, let's do that as well. All right, sweet. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, you know, first milestone done. Pretty happy. I don't know if we'll get it done in one episode. People told me it takes quite a long time, so I guess we'll see. And other people were like, you got to make sure you've got loads of construction materials. That's why I'm stocking up as much as I can. There we go. Done. All right, finish the phase. Stupendous. Oh, the envy they'll feel. Let's get it done. Faster the better. Indeed, I agree. Continue building. Is that it? Yep. Like a king. So what do we need now? 55 skyscrapers. Actually, yeah, what I should be doing in between while we're waiting as well is upgrading the smaller tiers because there's not going to be 75 over in this wing. Alright, how many is that? 48 out of 55, we're getting there. Progress will slow a little bit now as we level up some of these other ones. Something like that, and I think I think I need a few here as well. Because I think the problem is not all of these are going to be within range, yeah, of the drugstore. All right, good. We'll just have to wait just a, a minute or two, and then we can get the last four, and uh, we'll be good to go. Something I found out with the pedestrian pack soon after I was done recording the last episode is I realized that you can actually... Uh, how's the best way to visualize this? Let's move this for a second. You can actually totally make a Venetian-style town, and that is very exciting for me. So let's say we were to cut this completely, and we wanted to make a canal here. Uh... Sorry, it's not there. It's down here, isn't it? I just noticed something. You can drop this here. Oh my god, that's really good. That's great UI. Don't have to like go looking for it all the time. It's really good. I didn't think you could have a menu pop out here. I thought it was always like an item. Uh, anyways, so if we were to make this a canal... So you might notice now, obviously, there's no road connecting to those inner buildings. And when I put canals down, I was like, oh, that's a shame. You know, they don't count as roads, so this isn't really going to work. I was a bit upset by that. But then, to my surprise, you can do this. Oh, you know what? I think it has to be two. Yeah, there we go. So that connects. That is a road connection. Now, the actual bridges don't don't work you know these ones don't won't work for that that's just an ornament which is a shame because ultimately they are pedestrian ornaments and I guess the little carts need to be able to have access but it's pretty cool I mean it just opens up a lot of opportunities for me making like an actual kind of Venetian style thing and then what you could do is just connect them like this as well if you wanted to Your ship has returned from its it is a shame that I definitely can't do that no doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it allows for three it's a shame I don't know why why not because it looks really cool. But anyway, little tip for you out there. If you're thinking of beauty building and you want to do something like that, you can have this then totally wrap around and do multiple things. You know, it's quite cool, I think. Um, just as an experimental example. You might have noticed, actually, in the thumbnail of the previous episode, I did that. Because I was just playing around afterwards. And I was like, oh, shit. Um, yes. All right, let's do some more upgrading. No one's ready to upgrade. What are we, are we missing anything? We're very low on bricks, so I guess we'll have to get that. Room Bring him home. Over. Any extra steel? We pick up steel anyway. Carrier about. All 
Alrighty. Losing a lot of money now, all these skyscrapers. Look at the skyscraper upkeep. It's like the fifth from the bottom. 433,000 upkeep on skyscrapers. I am endlessly confused how, that's hap how that kind of works, though, in a way, because every skyscraper I look at is more positive than negative. So I'm not sure how, even no matter what upkeep we have, if it's not over the income, how have we gone into a deficit? I don't know. I'm a bit confused how that's happened. Maybe it's the extra population throwing on the additional royal taxes at the bottom. We can see that trickling up, actually. So that could be it. I didn't keep an eye on those taxes beforehand. That's really cool, isn't it? I like the idea then, just while we're waiting, I'll speed time up. Um, I like the idea of then doing this. So that's the building there. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting that it has to be two. Having them as wide as possible, and that way the bridges look really spaced out. They don't necessarily look like they're for each building, but they are, if you know what I mean. It's kind of cool. I actually forgot to mention, you can always hear people talking in there. You can hear, like, people talking about... You hear about this guy going up an elevator, and he's like... You've got five minutes with me till we get to the top. Pitch me your idea. Which I thought was quite funny. We do an excellent job. No one mentioned. They're really having a long chat in there. Um, anyways, yeah, I guess we could also see. What other ornaments fit here right now? Just to make it look a little nicer. Could have the underground toilets. <laughs> the enclosed greenery actually could be kind of nice. That looks really good, actually, I think, just generally speaking. I think it looks really good. <laughs> I see great potential in this now. I was, a, I was a, bit, a little bit mixed on it in certain aspects, but now the fact that roads can go over it, I'm a lot happier with that. Uh, right, let's drop off these things. Are they here yet? No, they are not. Room to maneuver. Just fell a little bit short. Alright, cool. Sorry for all the delays, but there's not much I could do with speeding that up beforehand. I didn't know how much I'd need. Um, although people did say 75, I think, skyscrapers. So. But while we're building the next phase now, I'll constantly upgrade, so we shouldn't fall that far behind again. Alright, let's see. That should be enough. Although we might not have enough material now for the next phase. We're short on beams. We have everything else, though. Let's begin. Alright, phase three is underway. And we need a big delivery of beams. I'm just going to have a quick once around to these different places. This one's on zero. That's on 12. 114 down here. We could grab some beams from down here. Uh, 99 down here, and what about Cape Trelawney itself? 91. Any here? 50. 0 and 0. Um, we could send a ship out here just to grab those little extra. I mean, even though it's only 140, it's worth it, I think. Alright, cool. So, we're still short on ethanol, is it? Let me just check that nothing blew up over there. We should have hot, pretty good ethanol production. But it is kind of determined on whether or not these buildings fill up. I'm seeing a lot of ethanol. Two thousand seven hundred. Yeah, I think I think we have enough. That is so fr that still happens to me, that um keyboard thing. So that's full up and that's full up. They're both on their way. They don't have any items on their ships. I guess that's kind of sl might slow them a little bit just generally, but there should be a batch of 600 ethanol coming in. That should last them the trip for to go back and forth, I would have thought. New orders. Let's see if we can spot them here. Yeah, there's the one. And no, I don't know what that is. That's just a bug I'm happy I have on a few sh different ships. All right, nice. Workers are a bit of a problem. 
Oh, I know what the problem is. This isn't in range of the trade union. This is supposed to be engineers. Ah, there you go. I thought something was off. Now, there we go. Stolen steel beams from the site? How? Of course no one saw a thing. Look, People are stealing my steel beams. And they said, let us build a city and a tower, lest we be scattered abroad upon the this face of the whole earth. This pathetic joke's been dragged out long enough. Time we gave it a swift punchline. Make an example of these workers. They've just got to be in on it. Why won't you listen to the whiskey old reptile? Sorry, why won't you listen, you whiskery old reptile? It's high time you heard the voices of your workers and compensated them for all the failings in your duties towards them. It's sickening. Good old workers' rights. <laughs> what am I playing? Frostpunk? Um, interrogate the workers. So some steel beams have gone missing, allegedly. I had nothing to do with it, boss. I came back... Actually, this guy's Irish, isn't he? I had nothing to do with it, boss. I came back to find the site like that. The beams were gone. Just a little warning note left behind. Look, there's, no, there's, so, there's so many frustrated workers working on the skyline. Who knows who's behind it? Be reasonable, boss. Cut this from our wage, and it's our families that'll suffer. All right, replace the materials, pay 30 beams. Or punish them. I'll just pay the 30 beams. I don't want to piss anyone off. Uh, just get the job done. Difference to us, boss. Very good of you it is. We'll raise a glass to you at the pub tonight. I don't know, there's something about that Irish accent that doesn't quite sit right with me, but I'm you can say the same about mine. <laughs> You'll never hear the end of it. They'll cook ah, sure, what's a few beams, you know? You talk of the town and the pub tonight. Expecting a handout. Uh, would you go away? the hell out of here, Donnie. Wished. To think of all the I'm used to this guy speaking like with a really, you know, coal miney English accent. I'm not used to him, you know, with that Irish accent he's got going on. All right, we're underway again. 11 minutes till the next phase. Not too bad, actually. We can speed time up. We gave him the extra beams. We're collecting more and more beams all the time. We're building even more beams now as well. Wonder does anyone have any for sale? Would I be? Mm. We're Good buying question. some from Archibald even Perhaps as well. A Dalek ionic composite of Chris Elephantan. Man, I, I remember we used to own this island. This is where we trapped Margaret in, in a, one of the Altitude, long, a long lost episode. Trapped Margaret in between here, destroyed so many ships. She had actually quite a lot of defenses here a long time ago. Oh my god, there's 563 steel beams here? Hell yeah, let's go. Hang on. Might as well pick up the ones that are here. To the island of Null. Production has stopped. Yeah, I'm guessing it stopped because of the beams, I would assume. This place looks absolutely horrible. The ship is almost here. Gotta wait for it to get around. Alrighty. Love to see it. Boom. The ship is doing it all the time anyway. So yeah, I mean, we're really importing so many construction materials in. It's doing good. We've actually got a quest in here, do we? Oh no, it just must be the building itself. I'm just seeing the star on the map. I thought maybe there's um, someone with an additional quest. Yeah, it's kind of halted. They're bril bringing other materials to it, though, so I don't think it's that bad. I'm at triple speed now, trying to go as quick as we can. Not seeing a shortfall in any other goods, though, and I imagine the... Yep, the ethanol is here I'm now. What's the problem now? Sanga cow? That's a strange one. Why would that change? They're full up. They've got everything they need. Oh, the three ships are together. That's a bit strange. We're dropping off 150 Sangha cow. Ah, it's fine then. I'm sure that means they'll keep the production up just fine.
Our ports and shipping lanes are so busy now. Look at the amount of ships just on the go constantly, especially turning the corner down here. So many to and from all the time. It's pretty crazy. In the town. Lovely parade going on in swords. Beer festival. Workforce needed reduced by 25% for all alcohol production chain. All right, they've got their steel beams. Let's go and grab Bring the final batch. Around. Now, while that's going on, the art of others. let's just buy back that island. Let's share. I go. implore you to act. Make a With decision. With each day, the risks become greater. It's paramount that we check the state of the lower floors and the columns. No surveys. I hate surveys. This isn't the first or the last tower built in my name. It's Just so cool, sure you can see all the little windows slack. going up and everything. And get me a copy. Gaelic. Gaelic? What does that mean? What is a Gaelic coffee? Uh, iron, an Irish coffee? Oh, I see what he's saying. <laughs> Skyline Tower risk assessment. The Skyline Tower is making history. The heights Mr. Bader envisions have never been reached before, but such a construction is unprecedented. I fear the structure isn't strong enough to support its own weight or withstand the adverse wind conditions up there. The architect had all the solutions for these issues, but Mr. Bader knew they would cost, so he's taken several shortcuts instead. I strongly advise conducting a survey to verify the building's structural integrity. That way, if my fears are well founded, we can act. So I could ignore it or pay 10,000 gold. 10,000 seems really, really cheap. I know that I have obviously like loads, and this is a very long running save. But even if this is a new game, I feel like by the time you're building this kind of thing, you would have a lot of money in the bank. Because you, you, you have to have 50 investor skyscrapers. I feel like it should cost millions. Like, one million. And it's like, you gotta work to get that money together if you don't have that then. Anyway, what does it matter, I suppose? Pay the 10,000. Do the survey. I'll get to it right away. You won't regret taking the time to do this. So what does Thank that mean? You. Oh, a two minute... I, it doesn't work for two minutes. Okay. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think that's a really cool shot. Shot. I'm gonna actually take a screenshot of that. Nice. All right, I'm excited. We're getting pretty close. So two minutes. I guess we'll just speed it up. There's not much else for me to do. And as long as our production chains are holding holding firm, then I'm happy with that. Uh, we could do some more upgrading, though. We needed 75, I think, as people said, so... Still have about 200 beams. Boom, more influence. Oh yeah, we passed 92,000 population. All right, let's grab the uh, beams. It is as I feared. Cracks are forming on the lower levels. If they expand, ah. the integrity of the tower might be at stake. We must act fast. Talk with Theodora. The cracks are appearing. Uh oh. Theodora's concerns are well founded. The structural integrity of the skyline tower has been compromised by its height and weight. And cracks are forming on the lower levels. If only the chief investor hadn't been so stingy in sourcing quality materials. Theodora, however, believes that if you act fast, the tower can still be saved. She sees a couple of possible solutions. All right. The lower levels are showing some wear and tear and some cracks have been forming. We must strengthen the base by adding shoring devices, a wooden support system to provide additional load bearing support. But it'll need I'll need quite a lot of wood to make it work. Mr. Bader certainly isn't prepared to pay. 100 wood. That's fine. Timber. Very good. I will coordinate the installation with the workers. It will take some time, but it'll be worth it. How long is that going to take? Five minutes. Hmm. Okay, it's getting longer. <laughs> All in the name of safety, though, right? Alright, cool. So this is this is a level five. These are all the level fives that we have. So the entire right side is done. Uh, I won't bother counting them up. It would take me too long. But um, 
I would imagine we're pretty close to having 75. I don't know if there's a way to check how many tier 5s you have. Does it tell me down here or anything now? No, I guess we just wait. Is there any clock on this? I guess I'll just speed up time again. And let's just do a little once over on our factory here and make sure that we're not... Damn, this is crazy. We're burning through ethanol at such a fast rate. I really don't get it. 40 to 40. The c yeah. And it's all operational right now. As long as the drinks keeps... As long as the drinks keep flowing. But you can see that it kind of comes and goes. It spurts a little bit. And that's just probably due to the fact that some of the buildings fill up stock every now and then. Nice day for it. That's a thousand understock. It's a surprising space. That's way understock, so that's never going to turn off. That's good. People also pointed out I should build more fire stations, perhaps, uh, around this area. Probably not a bad idea. Do got to do a cleanup. Nice big beauty build is on its way, for sure, for this area. We're almost... Once this tower is done, I mean, that's kind of it, isn't it? I think. And then we're going to go back to... Laying this place out to be, make a bit more sense, be a bit more efficient, and start doing some overhauls of islands again. I still love- my favorite thing I think I've ever built is the Docklands though. I love it. What the hell is this? They're out of lacquer, so they run out of lacquer. I mean, we've got an excess of everything anyway, so even if these go offline for a while, it's not that bad, but I would rather they didn't. Okay. So that's tier 5 now as well. These are now tier 5. And these are now tier 5. I think that might be it, but just in case, let's throw a few more out there. And I guess while we're waiting, Work and the time is sped up... The construction nope. can resume now. Good. How much time left? Five minutes to go. Excellent. Alright, consumer goods, all. Let's see how we're doing for these new items and see am I, like, you know, with the high life, am I falling behind? So, ah, cognac is a little low now. It's gonna run out, as are the billiard tables. Toys will be okay once they get back up and running. They're offline right now. Gramophones and steam carriages are totally fine. Chocolate's way low. Cigars are low. Souvenirs are actually too high. Champagne is fine. Jewelry's good. Yep, 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 yep. Violins are totally fine. Biscuits a little low. Typewriters are fine. Chewing gum is low. Yeah, there's going to be a lot to, to fix. Oh, I'm not. See, I don't really plan on sustaining 70. It's just to get the thing built. And then I was probably going to downgrade the others until it's at a more sustainable level <laughs> or until I need that, you know, if I need them for something. Because I I don't know what I need this many investors for, <laughs> to be honest. How many do we have? 26,000. 27,000 almost. And we have actually got a lot of goods banked, so I'm not worried about running out anytime soon. These are just grown, so they're a bit of a different story, but these ones are all fine. There's like Something like 800 violins and stuff, tons of violins, so I think we're okay for a very long time because it's even, it's only consuming at like three or four per uh, per minute. So that's a lot of time we have. It's at least an hour before any of this stuff will even think of running out. All right, two minutes, 20 to go. Almost done. go. A nice big sewer pit. Inspirational scenes. What's in the water? Just like barrels and garbage on this guy. I love that. The parade is going to go by the, uh, the big sewer pit. It's like, oh, we tried to make a man-made lake and it just got like wrecked. Alright, how we doing? 
40 seconds left, and then we'll be starting phase four. So I guess in the next episode, we should get it done. Provided nothing too complicated going on there. There we go, a few extra tier fives. Got a lot of influence now, though, so that's good. So definitely can pop down a lot more orchards and uh, trade unions for them. All right, final phase. My tower, unfinished and already dominating the skyline. Once built, they'll be looking up at it and chanting our names. Hey! <laughs> we do an excellent job. No one mentioned. Look at these guys. <laughs> That's awesome. They start pointing fingers. That's so cool. I love the detail they put into it, just for the construction phases. It's quite a nice little touch. Can I rotate that? Maybe I can face them out the other way. There they are. Now they've got a nicer view. You can have a look over the whole area. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we need. Ah, oh, we're one short. Okay. One short. Well, the next one to go up then will be this. This is a tier 4, so if you just wait a little uh, minute or two, they should have what they need. Missing residents, so they've just got to fill up the next 20 residents or so. And then we're just letting the goods pile in all the time. So we've got plenty of windows, kind of, yeah, kind of low on the elevators and steel beams, but not too bad. Considering the amount we just upgraded, I think we're doing all right. If we can get this done before we run out of stuff, that'd be, I don't know, it feels a little cheaty, I guess, but then I could just downgrade some of these and sort Stella out production typing. that way. I was just about to give in to the temptation of an afternoon sip on the roof, but now that you're <laughs> here, let's call it a meeting, shall we? The story of the engineering behind tall structures. That's the other thing. I guess you also don't need to have like all the as many engineers either. I only need about ten thousand in order to operate the research institute at full capacity. And apart from that, it's just extra workforce that's doing nothing. Although they do give a little bit of influence, these tier three ones. Not too influence. So that's always nice. Alright, we good to go. There we are. So we... Oh, it's not so bad. It's only 60 elevators. That's not so bad at all. I thought it was going to be like 500. Exception. So how long is that going to take? It is 1,200 workforce. That's quite a lot. A Might have to stop... Might have to destroy those uh, steel furnaces or whatever. Uh, in fact, we definitely will because we don't need them anymore. See you later. Seal the valves. Seal the valves. Lacquer. Now we're short on quartz sand. I don't believe it. Quartz sand. Do we bring that in anywhere? We don't need pearls anymore because we turned off the jewelry building. So we can bring in quartz sand from there. I'm sorry for the noise. It's so loud for me. Uh, whatever. Just max it out. <laughs> Bring as much as you can. And then after this first thing, it'll kind of balance itself out. Excuse me. They've really gone for all different dialects around the world now. They've got Irish in there, Australian, English, American. It's kind of cool. There's no French. I thought we would have saw something French for the tourism DLC. Just because of the, tire, the tower. Alright, that's basically it. Damn, 12 minutes. I could push the episode longer and just wait for it to be done. But I think I might tease it for the next one. The beginning of the next episode. But it, I'm not going to end it anytime soon. We've got a few minutes to go and we might have another event during this if something goes wrong. I like zooming in though. I hope people don't mind me just 
taking in the sights. Sorry, my mouse highlights it like no matter what, it seems. It's quite cool. Oh, I like the guy on top, the foreman. He's one of this. He looks like the same guy that's usually in the pub. <laughs> Guess it makes sense. It checks out. Cool. We can have a little walk around, maybe just really quickly, and see what it looks like from down on the bottom. God damn. Let's see if we can move over here. That's pretty cool. I am loving it. It actually is the tallest already, is it? So Donnie said. He said it's dominating the skyline. Is he right? Oh yeah, I guess it is. With the cranes, definitely. It's hard to tell because there is a bit of an incline. So I think it's marginally higher than the other ones. And then the, the cranes definitely push it over the edge. I just love the idea of turning the corner of a building and then just seeing that. Let's just do that. It's quite a novelty for me because I don't live where there are any skyscrapers. Pretty cool. Everyone's still sped up, by the way. The hell is that? What's it to smoke? Why is there so much smoke? Was that there before? Or did it just like load in when I went around by the building or something? It definitely seems like there's smoke coming out of it. Oh, nobody's taking any notice. Hang on, let me get out of this mode. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Hmm. Doesn't, doesn't look fine, but okay. I'm a bit skeptical about that now. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, let's see. Any runes anywhere? Nope. What's the warning? Tabarine. Let's buy it back. Get the hell out of here. Notifications. All good. Event tracker. All good. Quartz, sand, resin, and ethanol. So he's arriving in four minutes. He'll buy up all that sand. I guess we can have a look. I don't know if I produce any anywhere. So if we look globally and we go to raw materials, scroll down, we have a look at quartz sand. We, we consume 68 tons. Where was I getting it from, though? If I've never had a production building for, for it, why did I have so much and where... Maybe I just had some in storage and we just burned through it all. Is that possible? I guess it is. 68. So what's that times... I'll just break out the calculator... Let's just say 70 times, I don't know, 22, 1540. Just so we don't completely d demolish the things that are coming after this. 1600. Should be more than we need. 232 steel. And by the way, if I end up wanting to design a city that needs more investors, I have no problem taking on that challenge. I don't want anyone to think that, oh, I'm just going to downgrade everything, make life easy on myself. Myself. <clears throat> like I said, I'm thinking that this is, the city is going to be reorganized somewhat and maybe move the biggest buildings down here. And if that's the case, then we might need more. But there's not much time and I'll need your help to make it work. What's wrong? Listen to Theodora. What's the problem, though? The measures we've taken have saved us some time. But the tower's still in great peril. If we don't take decisive action now, it might be too late. As I've said, I'm working hard on a solution, but I need more time to finalize my calculations. There's no room for error. If you get me the parts I need, we might just make it in time. Oh, we need... F oh, no, my God, that's so lucky. We need to give her 288 or 50 quartz sand. We have some here. I don't know why we have some here. Yeah, sure. That's really lucky because we just ran out on the island that actually does use it. Thank the stars. Okay, we must hurry. I'll finalize everything at the office and then hopefully set it all in motion before it's too late. I'm guessing this is a problem or something. It looks like fumes. Four minutes to go. The city holds its breath. <laughs> 
But yeah, like I was saying anyway, so what I'm planning to do is like design, I think down here, I think I've kind of decided that I'm probably going to do it. Shift probably a load of workers out to rush, build up a new island kind of here, and then bring a lot, large part of these investors in this part of the city over this way, and maybe do something else out here with tourism or something. I don't know. I like, I like the hotels being out here and stuff, so maybe do something else with restaurants and stuff like that. I don't know. haven't decided yet. But if there is kind of a, like a, a sort of a promenade and some canals and some Venetian-style housing, and even, to an extent, tall buildings, I don't know if they need to all go up to level 5 or anything like that, but a lot of them should be up around 3 and 4, I think. Would, would look, and then a park or something as well. That would look really, really cool. So I'm going to just feel it out based on aesthetics rather than gameplay. I'm sure, unless this ma monument, I don't know how it works. Unless this requires you to maintain 75, which is a, that would be a pain. Um, then I, I imagine I'll probably downgrade or just see, see how many I need, if you know what I mean. And then we can work on further logistics. So I'll do a bit of a beauty build and then kind of sort out the final logistics after that, I think. And that might be it for the series for quite a while. A lot of people are asking me about different games. Maybe I'll mention this in the next one. People said you should play Timberborn. I did give it a go during the Steam Festival not that long ago. And it's great. I really enjoyed it. It's quite a cutesy, fun, sort of Banished-esque builder game with beavers. And they you set up on a river and you build your first dam and then you collect water and you power different... It's kind of like beaver punk <laughs> uh, style building. But the cool thing is you can actually build really tall. So you build like wooden cabins on top of each other to like stack more and more people into the same place for beavers. Um, and there's different clans and there's this like history to the world as ruins and stuff. So it's, it's quite interesting but it... It's not like high up there for like a big let's play or anything for me but it could be a fun mess around kind of game play and maybe do like 10 episodes or something a mini series perhaps until because it's in early access until maybe it gets more content how much time to go a minute and 50 i'm gonna wait till it gets to a minute 30 and then i'm gonna call it if nothing else happens by then i assume after paying theodora things are gonna be fine unless it does something on the final minute this has been easier than I thought. Granted, I did have a lot planned out, and you guys did help me a lot, giving me clues about items and things to get, so that definitely sped things up for me. Digs is for the king. Oh, he's still English if he's here. Minute 20. I'm going to have to leave it there then, guys. I don't want to finish this in this episode, because no doubt it's going to do something. So we'll pause it. So that's going to be it for this episode. A little bit of a... I don't like that noise. Help it's... me! Get over here quick! God, I've never heard a screeching so terrible. Make it stop, for Christ's sakes! The whole thing's breaking! God damn... Hell! For all our sakes, what'll we do? What will you do? You're in charge. Find a solution. You always do. This can't be it. This tower can't fall! Get the day off. Yeah, well, hey, look at that <laughs> The day off, the guys are there. All right, we're going to have to leave it. It looks like something crazy is happening. We're going to have to make a decision on an event. We're going to have to leave it because I don't know how long things are going to take. Don't want to extend the episode for the next 20 minutes. So that's going to be it for this one. It, leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. I didn't mean to, though. I actually thought this would take multiple episodes to build. It looks like it's only, and I guess multiple is true. I thought it was going to take three or four. Looks like we're probably going to get it done in the next one, all things considered, if everything goes well. So far, every event that's been thrown at me, though, we've been able to manage it. Um, so I don't know what's going to be the final thing that we require, but we'll have to see. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you guys again very much for watching. I know I've been kind of racing through this a little bit. I'm kind of looking forward to this weekend, or at least the next episode, I'm going to be able to record a couple together. And then I'm going to do some beauty building. I'm looking forward to figuring out the first stages of maybe a canal system or figuring out how we can do some new layouts in the city. It's going to be good. All right, and if you have ideas as well, absolutely let me know. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.